Now that we have our total cost function in terms of Q and S, then in order to look for the optimal values of Q and S, we need to do partial derivatives. Uh, so we need to get the partial derivative with respect to Q and the partial derivative with respect to S. Okay? Uh, the, the general idea is to get the partial derivatives and then equate them to zero, no? Uh, perform systems of equation and then finally get uh, an optimal value for your Q and S. <clears throat> I think it's easier to get the total co uh, the partial derivative with respect to s first. So let's do that. <clears throat> so the partial derivative of the total cost with respect to s in this case is zero for this component, also zero for this component, and then for this component it's two h s over two q or Simplified, it's, it's, it is just an H, S over Q. Next, for this component, uh, we do the chain rule. So 2, we bring down Q, uh, we, we bring down 2. So 2P, two Q minus S over 2Q. However, if you remember the chain rule, uh, because we're getting derivative with respect to s, we need to multiply it by negative 1. So, it's a minus p q minus s over q. Next, what we need to do is to get the partial derivative of your total cost with respect to q. And in this case, um, what I did here was to rearrange this into the components P over 2, the constant components, and then multiply it with this uh, term. Okay, uh, It will be easier for us to do the quotient rule later once we see this part to be this. Okay, So the partial derivative of your total cost with respect to Q in this case is for this term, AK over Q, we get a negative a k over q squared for this term we get a zero this one the the, the next one is a minus h s squared over 2 q squared you know, for this and then for this part we do the uh, quotient rule so we add p over 2 times the derivative of this term using the quotient rule. And what is the quotient rule? We, we have the low d high minus high d low over low squared. So low, derivative of high is 2 quantity q minus s times 1, no? the chain rule. So low d high minus high d low, which is 1 over low squared, so q squared. To simplify, this is a negative a k over q squared minus h s squared over 2 q squared. Um, I will distribute p over 2 to the two terms. So p over 2 times the first term, we ca cancel out 2. So what we will get is, uh, well, we cancel out 2 and then your q over q squared will become 1 over q squared. So one of the q's cancel in the denominator. So what we will get is a plus p. The q gets cancelled. The 2 gets cancelled. We get q minus s all over q in this case. Okay? And then minus because this is minus so again uh, p over 2 times q minus s squared and then your 2 q squared then what we just need to do right now is to equate 
the two partial derivatives to be equal to 0. Okay? Now, this will be easier to do. So, what we can do now is to equate hs over q minus pq minus s over q to be equal to 0. The denominator gets cancelled. So, what we are left with is an hs minus pq plus ps equals 0. We transpose pq to the right and then we factor out s. So, we get an s p plus h quantity is equal to pq and we divide everything by p plus h so we get an s is equal to p over p plus h times q now the next step is actually for us to equate this to zero but because we do have q minus s is here no so we have q minus s here and q minus s squared here what i'd like to do is instead of substituting just s into this and then fixing everything or manipulating everything, what I'd like to do is I'd, I'd like to get Q minus S first. Q minus S is equal to um, Q minus P over P plus H Q. Okay. This will give us a quantity, well, P plus H, I, I, I will just uh, do shortcut, P plus H over P plus H minus P over P plus H quantity q and this gives us an h over p plus h times q and this is your q minus s now substituting these two into the partial derivative with respect to q what will we get no so negative a k over q squared minus h s squared but S is this, so let me do it step by step. So minus H 2Q squared times S squared is quantity P over P plus H squared Q squared plus this one gives us P Q minus S is this. So quantity H over P plus H times Q all over q minus minus in this case p well what we can do is we fa uh, separate p over 2 and then q minus s squared is this squared so that's h over p plus h squared q squared that's this all over q squared and what we what do we get? We get a negative a k over q squared minus in this case q squared cancels. So what we get is an h p squared all over one two times quantity p plus h squared for this. For this component, we cancel Q and we get a plus PH over P plus H. And then finally, for this component, we cancel Q squared. So minus, well, P times H squared all over 2 quantity p plus h squared <clears throat> and then we equate this to zero okay again let's uh, fix this further simplify we have negative a k over q squared and then for this whole thing we subtract quantity and then the common denominator is a two quantity p plus h squared for this one we get an h p squared <clears throat> for this one we get well uh, because this has a minus so minus and plus here we get a minus here okay uh, your denominator is 2 p h squared 
the original denominator is pH. So we just multiply by 2 quantity P plus H pH. And then this is minus, this is minus, so plus, and then pH squared equals 0. Let's simplify further. Negative 8K over Q squared minus, this is an HP squared minus, uh, your 2PH, you multiply by P. So minus 2P squared H. Okay? Your minus 2PH times H is also a minus 2PH squared plus PH squared all over 2P plus H squared. Everything equal to 0. Hopefully, one last. Everything is equal to 2p plus h squared. Uh, your hp squared minus 2p squared h. That's exactly uh, the same. And, well, not really exactly, but we can subtract the 2. No? So we get a negative hp squared for the, these two. And we also get, for these two, a minus 2pH squared plus pH squared. We also get a minus pH squared. And then, we equate this to be equal to 0. One last. Negative AK over Q squared minus... Uh, we can factor out negative HP and the remaining terms are P plus H all over 2 P plus H squared equals 0. We cancel this. We are left with a negative AK over Q squared. Your negative and negative is plus HP p over 2 quantity p plus h. I'm sorry. Quantity p plus h here. And then equal to 0. And because we have this, it's easier now to transpose this. Transpose to the right. Uh, move q squared up. Move this part up move AK and HP down. In the end, what we will get, say Q is equal to square root of 2AK over H, square root of P plus H over P. Okay? So again, just checking, your 2 will go up. Your AK is uh, up. And then your H will go down. Okay, so you have your 2, a k, and your h. And then when we move this up, we move p down and we move p plus h up. That's why we have this. Now, all you have to do next is to get the second derivative and, and show that the second derivative is positive. And because the second derivative is positive, we can say that this q star is actually a minimum point.